Do you want to learn how to edit your code and create something really cool? Well, you need a code editor first. Stop typing them up in some text document or on your phone. Let me show you how to do it. So today I'm going to show you Microsoft's Virtual Studios, probably one of the best and easiest to use code editors out there. So you're going to be presented two options when you go to download it, Virtual Studios and Virtual Studios Code. Both are fine, but for what we're going to be using today for basic uses, you want Virtual Studios Code. If you get more into it in the future and you need more dev options, you can go back and download this anytime. But for now, let's stick with this one. All right, so after we've agreed to the license terms and everything else and it's installed on our computer, we've got to open it up. All right, when you first open up the app, you're going to be presented with all these tutorial options. Just skip those for now. You can go back and go through them whenever you want. So first, we're going to want to install the languages we're actually going to use. So go over to extensions in the top left corner. From there, you should already see some of the ones that you want. If not, search them into the search bar. As you can see, I downloaded Python, PowerShell, Java, all the ones I'm going to be using. You can't just expect your editor to know everything already, so you've got to go and add any of the extensions that you plan to use within it. Don't worry, you can add those anytime, so if you forget something now, you can go back and add it. Alright, so now that we've installed Python, let's print Hello World. How do we do that? Well, go create a new file. You can see that up in the top right corner. Create a new Python file. Click that, and boom, our Python windows opened right up for us. Drag that over, now it's the main portion of our screen, and we can start typing. All right, so easily just print out whatever code that you want. I'm doing hello world for a quick example. And then now, in the bottom left corner, you can see I click right here, and it is the debug console. In here, you have options for the terminal, debug, everything else. This is going to show you any problems with your code, give you the ability to run it, and more. So we've got to save our code file first before we can run it. So top right corner, save it, choose where you want the document saved. And now you can run your file. And as you can see, printing hello world for us. And this is awesome because it lets you just check your code incrementally whenever you need to and find easy bugs within it. So Virtual Studios is an amazing way to write and learn code. This also has the ability to integrate Microsoft's Copilot within it and make coding even easier. I'll cover that in another video. So make sure you stay tuned and follow for more. If you guys want to learn more about coding, want it broken down nice and simple so you can understand it and learn at your own pace, make sure you follow and leave a like so you see more of my videos around. Take care.